Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different tabletop game project every weekday at 1.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, giving my honest thoughts on how Kickstarter is being ran. So if you enjoy that kind of weird, wild content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers this year to celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube content. But right now, I'm very excited to be checking out the second most popular project on all of games on Kickstarter, that is Ardia, The Path We Dare Tread, an open-world campaign-based cooperative fantasy role-playing board game for one to four players and so right there they have told me so much useful information i love it open world campaign based cooperative one to four players i'd love to see a price though i know there's a price for this giant big honking box it's probably like 200 dollars or something crazy like that but still just hit me with the price pull the band-aid off early now the crazy thing you'll notice here is it's already raised six hundred and forty five thousand dollars and it's not actually funded what's up successful uh <laughs> So they have a monumental asking price of, I believe, $700,000. Um, so let's see how they go about asking for that much cash, because that's just an insane amount of cash to ask for. You have to do it in a very strategic, well-done way, and I'm excited to see how they did it. Now, the first thing I want to mention is, well, I'll, I'll get to that later. So all miniatures come pre-painted. Wow. Those are the magic words right there. That's... Wow, that's why you need $720,000. Okay, so as always, when I go to the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Hopefully, you can answer at least one of these right now. Let's go. I like how they're mentioning the name, and I want to give this a little bit of a shout-out. Far F Games is known for one very specific game, and that is Zaya Legends of a Drift System. And if you are, you know, deeper into the hobby, you've probably heard of that game, whispers of that game. It's one of those insanely long especially at higher player count uh epic space exploration games it's a game that i have on my shelf i will keep on my shelf forever i absolutely love the sense of space exploration and it's one of my favorite sandbox games out there but launching with that immediately gets that peaks my ears that gets me excited hopefully they mention that somewhere in here it's a practical at your table outside Wow. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Nice transition. Oh, stop. Slow down. Slow down. I want to see more. I want to see more. They're leaving me wanting more already. Look at those minis pre-painted. Like, that's what I'm going to get. That's what's going to be on my table. That's what me and my kids are going to play with. I feel like this game is an attack on my sea of gray unpainted minis. Look at these minis. Oh, they're so nice. And then I want to see this board. The inlaid board with... Oh, it's got it's got a spot to hold the freaking dice. Are you kidding me? Look at that. The little tokens go in there for your equipment. That looks so good. Oh, and the little spots, the little inserts to hold everything so they're not going to get bumped around if you bump the table. Ugh. Gorgeous artwork. That looks fun. I want to know what's going on there. And it already, it just looks more thematic with the painted minis. It's crazy. Uh, you know, I don't have any games with painted minis. And it's just, it really gives it flavor. Ooh, removable heads. Oh, so you can be your own character. That's hot. That is, that's just so awesome. That, and like, everything else in the body is covered, so it literally is just putting on the head. I love that idea. And... That, that's just fantastic. Excellent idea. That was a great shot, by the way. Ooh! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! So how does this work? Uh, so this is... You pop it, and then... Th that's just... Oh my gosh! That looks so fun! You get to reveal things, and that's such a cool way. That is, that's awesome. So a different thing is happening when you go there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Cool, bears, baby. Dice. Ooh, that's a wow. Don't just put five. You know, every other game, every other stinking game, it's just, oh, this has five, so you're just stacking things on there. That, like, has specific spots where you put it on there. Just little details like that. As a gamer who's considering this game, like, whew, those are great details. Oh, 
secret boxes, but they're shaped like treasure chests! That's so cool! Still impractical being outside, but that is a hell of a video. Wow! I am so excited to finally be able to share Iridia with you. I can't wait for you to explore this fantasy world alive with characters, secrets, monsters, and magic. With your support, we can make Iridia an adventure to remember. <sighs> those those come in the game? Like those, oh, that looks so good. Hey, Michael. Exactly. That's what, so successful geek. So happy Cody was in the video too. That smile just makes it so welcoming. And I always say that just interweaving the smallest little bit of personal touch can go so far. It just makes you... It makes you not just look at this like a game you're buying, but kind of like a something you're supporting. And I, and I, and it's so easy. Wow, great music too. Everything, top notch video. Whoo, whoo, great video. Do I want it? Yes, with a bullet. Only thing I'd say is maybe from the creators of Zaya Legends of Adrisus or something like that you know just to give because you've made an epic game before this is not my first rodeo making epic because if you open Zaya Legends of Adrisus those coins the components just everything spectacular I love this campaign small company looking to fund their passion project with realistic goal yeah $720,000 and that's 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 what they're pretty much going to try and pitch here is like we actually need $720,000 and we just showed you why like look at all this look how crazy this is going to be another Gloomhaven size box uh, of just amazingness. So five created, 109 backed. So we got some collaborators here, good, which means we should have some good customer service. Does it seem like we'll have replayability? That's the question. We'll get to that. Uh, so Zaya, I'm pretty, yeah, this is Embers of a Foreign Star. Pretty sure all this stuff is out. Tavarua, uh, yeah. So they, this is only their third game. That's what I like to see there too. So like this was Cody's first major, major idea. And then Tavaru was like this surfing game I actually did a Kickstarter video for. And then this seems like what he's been working on for like six years. Like this, Z Zaya came out a long time ago, if I recall correctly. Um, let's check. I can scroll all the way to the bottom. I can see exactly when it was launched. Oh no, it's going to take forever. But, but yeah, this was, this is for a while. So that gets me really excited about how much he's invested into this game. This is going to come off like a passion project, I have a feeling. All right, one to four players. Uh, but can you do it as yes? That's where we're going there. So can you do it? Yes, they've done an epic game before. Absolutely, no doubt in my mind. Do I want it? Yes. So how much is it? That's all we need is the price. So one to 40 plus hours. Interesting. The game is a cooperative venture that will have you and up to three friends exploring the worlds of Ariada. The game can be played in any number of sessions and is designed for you to easily save and store the game. Awesome things to mention right there. As you play the game, keep track of your actions and decisions. Your character will grow in power, collecting new items, weapons, and skills. This all sounds very exciting. It said that during the game, you don't destroy any components. You can reset. Ooh, good to know as well. Now, one thing I do want to mention here is I, I just feel like the price. Just rip the band-aid off. We know it's going to be expensive. We're expecting Gloomhaven. We have a Kingdom of Death monster in our mind. We have Gloomhaven in our mind. We have a high price in our mind. Just give it to me already. Uh, Ardia comes with 60 prepainted miniatures. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 900 plus cards. 300, 900 plus cards. 300 plus map cards. Multi, so 1200 cards. Multi-layer world maps. Multi-layer game boards. And 40 plus hours of handcrafted gameplay. What paths will you dare tread from the team that brought you, yeah, uh, seven years ago. Zaya Legends of a Drift System. Which... If you got yourself a good teacher, that is a hell of a fun game to play. Uh, if you like space explorations, one of my favorite sandbox games of all time, and my top 100 of all time, probably my top 50, I think. Uh, we hope you'll explore all the information below, but here are three things that make Aria particularly special. But this is what I like right here. They are hammering a little bit more on the can you do it. I feel like it could have been done a little bit more naturally, but still, can you do it? Answered, no doubt about it. Do I want it? Yes. How much is it? That's all I need. And yes, I know the price over here, but I want it to be seamless and seamlessly interweaved into here. And by golly, if there are stretch goals... I can't wait to get to the stretch goals part. But we have not even got funded yet. Okay. When you see a $600,000 campaign, you're just like, oh, that's funded and there's stretch goals. And they're like, oh, wait, wait, no, we're not funded yet. It's going to happen, but obviously. Okay, so create a character, explore an open world. That is that's so cool. That is so damn cool right there. Discover locations, talk to characters, experience events. Because I don't think this is, has, has this been done before, like in this particular thing where it's, 
it's actually like you just push it in. Like that's such a unique concept. I love that. So events represent moments of tension and urgency that can only come around once. You'll be tasked with exciting choices and the results of the consequences. Aria is dotted with points of interest which with you can interact, use your senses to find clues, discover secrets, and learn about your surroundings, fight monsters, uh, get loot, level up. Oh, that's so cool. Choose how to invest your points. Oh, yeah, scroll back. I want to see it. I want to see it. Wow. Is that the tech tree to the right? I want to see more of this. I want to see more of this. Oh, that looks so good. Ah, stop it. I want to see it. <laughs> they keep leaving me one more. Prepainted, easy setup. Oh, that is slick. Oh, my goodness. That is such a good shot right there. Like, that is so well done. Mwah. <laughs> A world of adventure. Experience the open world adventure for you and your friends. Prepaid adventures. Gorgeous, unique map art. A 40 plus hour campaign. I feel like what they're doing here is they're just buttering us up more before they get to the price. But I just, I just want it. The paths. What path will you walk in Ardia? A martial warrior? A tactician and healer? A rogue cloaked in shadows? Choose your path. Forge your legendary legend. Each path includes two multi-layer boards. A treasure chest containing class specific loot. A triple layered skill tree. Triple layers! Wait, three layers? What's the third layer for? A prepaid miniature die and token and oh my gosh it looks so good oh there it is that's what i want to see i wanted to see it zoomed in but at this point just can you do it through or do i want it through the roof yeah i'm just i'm chomping at the bit this looks like an app now what's the age have we gotten the age yet i feel like that's the one thing that i think i don't know uh because if this is the kind of thing i can play with my kids like oh my gosh be still my beating heart Triple layer is how that token flip map thing works. Ah, because it's not just dual layer, it's the triple layer, because then that gives room for this thing to pop down a little bit. Ah, thank you, successful. Aria is a full of secrets, monsters, and magic. Explore mountains, forests, caves, and towns. Who knows what's around the corner? The world map begins incomplete and undiscovered as you travel the map using our simple pop and flip system. Oh, I love the sound of that. The pop and flip system. It sounds like something from the 1950s, but it's in our games today love it maps with triple layers so you can flip tokens that's so cool as you travel um so travel choosing your course and traversing different types of terrains make overworld travel a challenge locations oh cool tons of info text flavor awesome awesome i just need the price exploring a location so we're getting into the weeds of the gameplay as much as i'd love to honestly i'd love to just know exactly how this game works i'm i'm in i'm in i need to, I, do i i do i this is so bad. I haven't seen quotes. I haven't seen gameplay, but I feel like they've done such a positive job of just selling what this game is and making me want it. It's just so well done. Look at this. Like, look at this. Everything looks like a gamery component, and it's just, oh. Like, what is, oh, look at this card. Look, Just a little teeny rat, and it's got all this information, and it's just every single character is going to be unique. And I imagine once I understand all this iconography, I'm going to be in heaven. Hopefully this has spectacular player reference cards. Combo systems, combos and actions. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Great. I just, can we get to the price? Progression. Are, okay, no, but I do want to kind of want to know about this. So your exile, create your exile by choosing a path, taking the matching miniature body, then choosing a portrait head. Awesome. That is so cool. Like it really feels like your character. Earn XP, defeat monsters, complete quest. Oh, this looks so, my gosh, it's so awesome, this game. Each class is a unique skill tree. Pop the skill out of the triple layered board and add it to your character's skill slot. That is, that's so nice. And, and the arrow system looks clean and clear. Just, oh my goodness. Items and equipment, role playing. Experience and new role players will be at home in Ardia. We give small but helpful descriptions and motivations to help you get into character. Interesting okay taking a different turn here you're in exile hoping to earn a pardon and return home to do so you must earn squills useless wooden coins that inhabitants give out for good deeds earn enough squills by harvesting and you can return home whether you're speaking with an innkeeper investigating a disappearance or sneaking into a mansion do it all in character role play points what we doing here cody what are you doing Worlds are colliding, Jerry! Roleplay points. Take turns as the guide, assuming the role of characters you meet along the journey. When you act as the guide, you earn roleplay points. That sounds so cool. As someone who's naturally a ham, but doesn't roleplay, this is a guy, guy, guy. This looks awesome. This looks very cool. This is such a cool idea. Checks determine outcomes for actions taken by your character. When taking a check, roll the die and add your attributes. If the result is equal or higher than the check, you succeed. That's really cool. Choices. Secrets. On your adventure through Ardy, you'll have to make choices and live with the consequences. Shh, if I told you what was out there, it wouldn't be a secret. Now, what, it, what does that even mean? I don't care. So, $165. Okay. I would totally mention that way higher. Way earlier. 
especially considering you show me right from the offset that this is going to be a Gloomhaven sized box, and my mind is already on that. We as gamers, we know what Gloomhaven is, we know what Gloomhaven looks like, we know how much Gloomhaven costs, roundabout, you got an idea. So $165, I don't even think twice about that price point, I would be shouting for the rooftop sets is $165, because to think at that price point, and you advertising at that price point, people are going to be like, okay, $165 there, partner, you're gonna really going to have to wow me, uh, and then you're going to freaking wow them, because that video and that story wow that was really good and then oh my goodness we're getting into the pre-painted miniatures and we're gonna more question marks we're gonna get more 300 map cards look at these oh this is just such a nice shot 100 small 50 pre-painted miniature 165 dollars for basically a gameplay pre-painted all in yeah yeah it it just seems and then we're gonna be unlocking even more of these so i know they're there but it's like oh so tantalizing what's it gonna be uh, I love it. 900 plus cards. And look at that. Spotlighting the amount of text on every single one of the cards. Mm, beautiful. 100 plus NPC cards, 30 travel cards, 30 threat cards, 120 point of interest cards, 40 job cards, 80 key cards, 170. Ah, oh, so much. 18 player boards, multi-layer. Ooh, there's secret ones. What are secret ones? I'm so excited. I bet it's going to be daily unlocks here. I'm guessing that. Uh, wood tokens, seven treasure chests. Yeah, this sets up for, I'm thinking, wait, is this going to go six players? Did you just tell me this is going to go six players? Because that's really awesome, but I don't know if I would hide that particular piece of information. Like, one to four players, awesome. One to six players, amazing. Because here's the thing. Think about it like this. When you're playing an epic feeling game like this, I feel like people are much more likely to invest three, four hours and not scoff as much. Whereas when you're playing just some tiddlywink medium weight game and it just stretches out to three hours, you're like, oh my God, it was terrible. But when you set down for a game like that and you're mentally prepared for it, so I, I don't know. If it goes six players, I, I might mention that. I might mention that. Whew. Uh, spoilers. Ooh, spoilers. Yeah, it could be spoilers because, yeah, there's a whole bunch of story here. 30 plastic cubes and gem, four monster hit dice, Punch board tokens, it's just, I've world maps, and there's going to be three of them. Oh, that's why they're hidden, because we don't even know about all the different places we can adventure. And we have Kickstarter exclusive. Okay, it's an add-on Kickstarter exclusive. Not the biggest fan of those, but we've designed a small add-on for those of you who want to go extra mile support far off games. This mini expansion is completely unnecessary, so please don't feel any, don't feel any need to get it. This mini expansion includes one prepainted miniature, twenty cards, and an alternate set of certain skills available from the start of the campaign. Everyone's going to want this, Cody. Sh you shit shit. You know every single person who's invested this hundred sixty five dollars is going to get this. Like. Am I wrong here? I feel like if you're going the whole mile and you are as wowed as I imagine most people are wowed by this Kickstarter campaign, they're adding the $25 on there. Because I want to play as the frog the frog person. I want to play as the frog with the thing. That's so cool. All right, why back? Best possible price. We are offering already at $75 MSRP. You say that? I believe that. We appreciate your... Because here's the bottom line. If you were going to Gen Con or Origins or some other big gaming convention and you saw this for, what, $210? Would you really, like, you'd be like, yeah, that seems that seems about what I'd probably be paying for it. Um, Gloomhaven, same thing. Early delivery. You get your copy of RDA before any other distribution channel. If you want to be among the first people to play RDA, support this Kickstarter is the way to go. Join the community. And then we have previews. I personally only went for this 165 because plenty of content as is and successful is <laughs> smart. Because, yeah, uh, as much as I feel like everyone is going to want that, I guess it makes sense that you're like, there's 40 hours of gameplay here. What am I really missing from the 25? I guess whew, I got I got to get off the hype train. So the only thing I need to know more is the shipping. That's I'd like to I'd like to know the shipping, especially if there's only going to be one pledge level. Like it looks like there is. This looks like this is going to be really clean and clear. 165 plus the epic hunt. Uh, so 2804 versus 665. So it it is still uh, four to one there. But yeah, with this being this clean and this clear, why not just do the shipping section right here? There's only one pledge level, really. Two pledge levels. I need to know the shipping size. It's just, I love seeing the, the shipping up higher. So we got, this is a, this is a preview. Okay, whatevs. I just want to see a gameplay. I can't contain my excitement about this one. It feels like Zaya, uh, Egg, Zaya, Legends of Justice evolved. That gets me excited, uh, comparing it to another direct game that I absolutely love. So I think that's, a, I think it's a solid quote. A huge, really interactive world that you get to be part of and experience with your fellow players. That gets me excited about the game as well. I really enjoy the hell out of it, and you can quote me on that. That one, not so much. <laughs> like, that one just feels like fluff. 
I just want a gameplay, and you gave me two previews. No, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, I feel like a uh, gameplay. Way to go right here, as opposed to two previews. You know, if I'm going to spunk down $165, I want to watch, you know, I want to wa- I want to see what the game is. Like, right now, I get the feel, but let me know what you think. I feel like with cheaper games, I'm much more okay with a preview. But when it's this much you're asking, $165 plus whatever the shipping is, we're probably going to be close to around $200. It's just, it's just, I, I, I want the gameplay. A link to the rulebook will be coming soon. If you have rules question before then, please ask, please ask in the comments. I don't like that. That seems really odd to me. Like, if they have a rule booklet at Man vs. Meeple in the Dice Tower, clearly there is a rule booklet. Why not put it here? Even if it's rough, even if it's raw, uh, you know, because then you can also ask for feedback on it, which I think is a brilliant thing to do that some companies do to say, hey, tear it apart, put it in a Google box, let us know how we can make this better. And, and if you do, we'll even put you in the rules or something like that. Uh, I feel like that's the way to go. They don't have gameplay yet because spoilers, and there is no randomness, so spoiler would be permanent. They have a tutorial playthrough planned. Oh, okay. Okay, so they have to tread lightly here because this that guy actually gets me more excited about the story than if it's like the kind of thing where that's like, oh, we're going to ruin it for that. But still, I would mention that. I would say, uh, well, I, don't, I guess, I don't know. That's an interesting one. No, I think I would mention it that because if you say it, I think that can get people excited. Like, we don't actually have a gameplay video. We're going to have one planned, but you need to know that this will spoil your experience with the game because it's very deeply, heavily thematic. Like, I think if you lean into that a little bit, Rollbook is coming, but Cody said it's a little bit messy. Yeah, I imagine with a game like this, there's going to be, it could be, <laughs> shipping because it's promising the world. Like, did you see all those trackers, those counters, those those different things? Like, that's... That's a lot of rules. All these prices are only estimates. Fine. After the campaign, we'll use a pledge manager to collect shipping and tax based on your regions. Because I saw another one last week. It was, at, it was that one that was $80 from the guy who did the Fantasy Flight games. He used to do that. And they didn't have a shipping section. It's like, well, you're just not going to have that. Put estimates at the very minimum. Uh, total shipping, freight plus the last mile. Uh, far off subsidy. What is this? far up subsidy what does that mean you have heard shipping and ocean freight are at a state of volatility to help with the high cost we are offering a 20 dollars subsidy on shipments we use fulfillment warehouses in multiple regions of the world to make prices as low as possible oh so it's gonna lower the shipping holy christ 20 25 dollars that's great that's spectacular 19 dollars to uk big ups uk getting it good canada 25 dollars eu 24 now i don't know if this includes the fat the, the vat but that's still whoo so we're talking, what is that, $190 out the door for 40 hours of gameplay. This is this is kind of an easy one for me right now. I am loving this Kickstarter. So do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. How much is it? I feel like the price and the shipping, whoo, pretty reasonable. Pretty dang reasonable there. Uh, the designer, developer, illustrators, graphic designer, I could tell there's a team here. That is extra on top. So that is something of note, but still, uh, 24 to 50. I still don't think that's absolutely terrible. Even with the VAT on there, I, I still feel like this is comparable to what I've seen a lot of other people do. Because you got to remember how huge that box is. Like, this is a massive thing to ship. I am really impressed with this Kickstarter right here. All right. Uh, so what do we got? Baru Studio, incredible team from Madrid, providing scopes for our minis. So this is the team. Awesome. Follow us. Thank you. Uh, there we go. And then we end with a personal touch, too. I love that. We end with a personal touch. You know, if, if things go south, you know, you still look at that picture, you say, all right, there's a person behind there. I know that Rip EU once again. It doesn't look terrible, but yeah, it's still the VAT. Um, <laughs> all right, so risk FAQ. Let's go to the FAQ. See if it's organized nice and neat. So no, I would, I personally, I think if you're going to do an FAQ, take a look at uh, Reload from Colossal Games, how they organize their FAQ. It's just a spectacular way to do it. I want to see it become the new industry standard, so I recommend it every time. What languages are available? How replayable is Aria? Great question. There are, n there are many ways to think about replayability. Story, the campaign does have an overall story, which will be the same every playthrough, but there are various optional quests that you may or may not complete. Also, there are decision points in the story that impact how things unfold. Because each path, aka class, has different loot skills and a skill tree, the game will feel different and future place that's a really intriguing point uh because yeah playing gloomhaven jaws of the lion right now i could see how playing different characters is going to feel drastically different and that 
that I can get, like, I might play this with my game night, then I might play with my kids at the same time, and yeah, the spoil, the story might get spoiled, but I'm still gonna have a fun experience being a healer versus being a whacker, you know, so I, I like that. The game is balanced in every player count, but it will feel different depending on how many players you have. E.g. two actions per turn with three, uh, path combinations, even if you play the same path multiple times, playing a warrior with a rogue will feel different from, so I feel comfortable now with that explanation. Uh, delivery is in the UK, and they are still trying their best to make it good for EU delivery. Do playable characters die when playing? What will happen if you fail? Can't die. Cool. Can I see the rule booklet? We'll get that later. Soon, we'll take the rule booklet, draft, and how do we roll playing points when playing solo? What about... Okay. So this looks like a solid FAQ, but I'd like to see it organized a little bit better. Let's check to the update. There's only been one. Okay. Okay. That's, uh, and, and I'm not against that, you know, I'm not, I don't, I feel like a lot of times we bombard people with these, I'll see, like, the first day, if you have a first big day, I'll see, like, three or four updates, and, like, slow down there, killer, you're asking, a, I'm like, we understand that this is your life, right now, your life is 100% obsessed around this game, I get that, but for the rest of us, I don't really need four emails from you. Uh, but Cody already has two live streams and is very active in the comments. Awesome. Thank you. Over half a million raised in 24 hours. I cannot believe all of you. Support for Ardia has been tremendous. It fills me so much joy to just, uh, see how many people have joined us on this journey. We passed over half a million dollars in our first day here on Kickstarter. That is so far beyond our wildest hopes. It makes my heart so glad I received such an outpouring of goodwill. And I'm going to make a bold prediction here. I have not actually looked at this update, but I'm a very good judge of updates. I, I look at updates every day. I'm going to guess that this update looks like a spectacular update because it has 51 comments, but I'm still going to predict that it's not a good update because there's 4,604 people here, and I'm going to guess you should always end every update with a question because the name of the game is tickling that Kickstarter algorithm, and you do that by getting people commenting in both your updates and your comments. And so I'm going to guess this 51 people is just people who are so excited for you because you're giving us this behind-the-scenes look. And people love this behind-the-scenes look. They absolutely do. People love a great feel-good story, and this looks like a great feel-good story, but I'm going to guess there's no question here. Bold prediction. Let's go. Conclusions. Uh, P.S. My daughter made us fox ears. So yeah. And then it's just, uh, I also would like to see the components for Zaya added as an optional buy-in in the Pledge Manager. What? <laughs> what? What? Uh, okay. I hope you end up deciding to offer Zaya in the Pledge Manager as I missed out on it and would love to play it. Wow. Okay. So, I was just wondering last week. Uh, so, that, yeah, that, that actually kind of seems like a no-brainer here. Like, this might be the time to do another print run on Zaya. There's a very realistic chance that you probably could sell... 500,000 maybe? I mean, I mean, I don't know if it's still in print or not, but that's... Well, he did just have a couple pictures for it, but that's awesome. That's a good problem to have right there. So I was one of the most wanted games for a long time. Please look into using uh, the shipping. Happy birthday. So yeah, once again, these are just people who are here because they want to support your awesome story and what you're doing here. Imagine the numbers you can do of the next time you ask a question. You know... Uh, so make some bold predictions. What would you love to see behind some of those question marks? Uh, you know, something like that. You're going to get people talking, you get people discussing, and this 51 is going to be, you know, 500, you know, 200, 300. It depends on how you stoke the fire. I'm going to guess you're going to stoke it really well because you already got 1,400 freaking comments in two days. Top notch, by the way. Hats off. Uh, the attachment rate with Zaya would be huge. Yeah, I agree because... Once again, I feel like your price, I feel like 100 I would be shouting that $165 at $145 a little bit more. I think it's a great price for what we're expecting to get. Nine, which, that's just so weird. A great price. It's $140. Oh, okay. Uh, hi, Cody and team. But here's just what I'm looking for. I see them being active. Let's see. Do I, can I see some collaborators? Can I see some collaborators one time? Don't take it all on your own, Cody. Don't take it all on your own, Cody. But this, okay. So, yeah, we, could, we got collaborators popping up here. I think they had three awesome i'm interested to look at the community but right now i'm giving this a plus i think this is the first time i've ever given a kickstarter like an a plus like i don't like necessarily the positioning of something everything i said pretty much was a nitpick right there i guess it didn't have quotes it didn't have gameplay i need to settle down i need to settle down the, the, the hype the hype is i, I can't go a plus because there's still things there's critical valuable piece of information but i'm gonna go a like this is a damn good kickstarter like if you're planning on launching, oh, wrong window, uh, a massive project, I think this is the way to go. And we have 50 new backers, so once again, we're not attracting anyone new. I wasn't expecting us to attract anyone new. If you're new to the hobby, $165 open exploration game. This is like, yeah, but the 4558 
Uh, U.S. primarily, more than half. That's what I always say. London popping off real good, too. Yeah, I imagine with that U.K. shipping. Uh, but there you go. That is that. I'm going to give that an A. Ardia, the paths we dare trade. That is two A's in a row. Hype is on. It is. They did so, Like, I'm hyped for this project. They did an excellent job there. Awesome job. Uh, and once again, $720,000. So there, there's my... Okay, so here's my other thing. So no, no, no. I need to slow down. Because this is nearly funded. But what's going to keep me coming back to the Kickstarter? I do need to look at this from the long-term perspective. Because when I see 649 my mind is just like, oh, this is already funded. But no, it's not already funded. What's going to keep this from falling down on this popularity chart? Now, that is one issue I could potentially see arising here. Because I, I, I heard someone said in the chat that there's going to be live streams and stuff like that. But as someone who backs this, why do I come back? You know, you got the money, which is spectacular. But if you want to stay on that popularity chart, which you obviously do. Because the people, like gamers who stumble onto this, like... Whoosh, whoosh. So you want this in the, the top 9, the top 12, so people are just going to see this image... So hopefully they can do some things to engage people more because there was no daily unlocks, there was no stretch goals, there was no um, live upcoming streams planned that I saw or gameplays. I mean, the only thing that saw that really made me want to come back was the rule booklet, and maybe and that that I would come back for. But that is something else that I worry a little bit about here. But I'm still going to give this an A. Uh, ooh, no, A minus, A minus. I need at least a gameplay video. I need at least a gameplay video. I got. I got to go A minus. <laughs> this looks really good. And the track record, Zaya Legends of Adrift, is a spectacular game. A little bit torn, but let me know what you think about Ardia, the paths we dare tread, in the comments down below. And also, more importantly, if it does go one to six players, do you think that's something that should is so important that it should be mentioned from the jump, or do you think that's something that they should hide and use as a way to say surprise? It's actually five to six. And then you know maybe like the last week of the campaign, it's like now with five to six player expansion included in the game or something like that. It's an interesting choice. Uh, there should be two more reviews as of stretch goals. Cody said no stretch goals until funded, but there should be. Oh well, then maybe tease us with it. Give us a tease. There you go. That's what this missing. This needs a little tease. Like, oh, and stretch goals coming once we hit $720,000, dot, dot, dot. Because at that point, whoo, if you can get yourselves some stretch goals, I could see this thing absolutely exploding. Like, if you had people coming back routinely, which means it pumps it up to the top of the popularity chart, or daily unlocks, or anything like that. Uh, but I would mention that a little bit more, that you're planning on doing something like that. But anywho, if you enjoy what I'm doing, just keep enjoying what I'm doing. Go have yourself a spectacular day and a spectacular weekend coming up. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.